Well, it's the second week in January, and it's a time when lots of people are talking about detoxing and cutting back on their alcohol consumption. And because of concerns that are being voiced about the consumption of alcohol in the UK, um, there's a whole raft of new products hitting the shelves now, which are wines where some of the alcohol has been removed or reduced. Wines that are coming in around 9% alcohol, as opposed to the kind of 13%, which is maybe about the average for a bottle. Now these new products, some of which are using technology to extract some alcohol, others which are made by blending some unfermented grape juice with wine to make a lower alcohol kind of diluted product. Um, you'll find them in all the shelves, but you know personally I have yet to find one which I could really recommend as a really good wine. If someone said to me I'm looking for a nice bottle of wine for this weekend, there's none of those products would actually fit the bill. Instead, I'd prefer to concentrate on proper wines, if you like, regular wines, which come from low alcohol producing areas and low alcohol grapes. And there are many of them around if you do a little bit of research. From most Northern European countries, from the far north of Italy, of France, of Germany, you tend to get wines which come in naturally around 11 or 12%. And another case in point is Australia where there are a couple of areas which produce Semillon and Riesling, which naturally comes in at these lower alcohol levels. Now, the one that I've got this week as part of my January detox, if you like, is a Riesling from the Eden Valley, which is only 11% alcohol. So it really is towards the lower end of the wines which are on the shelves at the moment. This is the Peter Lehman Wigan Eden Valley Riesling and it's in odd bins. Now it's quite an expensive wine, it's £16.99 a bottle, although it's £13.59 if you're buying a mixed case of wine from odd bins. But it is something a bit special. It's from the 2003 vintage, so it has seven years of maturity from a really good selection of grapes, a careful selection of grapes. And on the nose it's absolutely glorious. It has that real lime cordial punch. It has a lovely little floral note to it and with seven years of age in the bottle it's just developing delicate waxy paraffin notes. It's not the big petroly Riesling smell at all, it's nothing like it, it's just got a delicate kind of waxy blossom note which is absolutely beautiful. On the palate Stunning. I mean there's fantastic fat limey fruit it just powers through the wine. Um, it has all sorts of nice, delicate peach blossom, delicate orange skin kind of characters to it. Terrific acidity that really pierces through and pushes through to the finish. And in all, it's a kind of mouth-filling, vibrant, but just delicious wine. Um, under screw cap, it's still really, really fresh, even after seven years. It will sell her for, for more. Stick it in your cellar and I think this wine will keep going for a couple of decades, um, but it's delicious now. So, my January detox special with 11% alcohol is the Peter Lehman Wigan Eden Valley Riesling 2003. It's an odd bins at 16 dollars by the mixed case, and it's my wine of the week.